Okay, here's my little FPGA project that is um, attempting to build a NASCOM 1, a uh, NASCOM 2 um, with external memory and an external floppy disk controller. Here's the FPGA board itself. Um, it's going onto a daughter card that's got some memory on it, um, an SD card interface, um, uh, interface to a VGA monitor, and uh, an interface to uh, um, UART which comes off to a, a USB converter and it's currently driving a VJ monitor and this is the default boot image in the FPGA which I'm going to replace in a moment and here is the project built on the tool chain, the Quartus tool chain and I'm going to upload the new image will take a couple of moments. So now it thinks it's a NASCOM. Going to connect the UART because I don't have a keyboard interface running yet. So now I am talking to it with Minicom, with caps lock, backspace key works. There's a memory dump of Nasus, there was a Nasus prompt. I can modify some memory. Load accumulator 41, ink accumulator, ink accumulator, ink accumulator, ink accumulator, jump back to 820C. Here is program counter, here is the accumulator as I single step. See the uh, accumulator increment, and then there's a jumping back to C82 again, and then just carry on incrementing the accumulator. Or I can set a break point at C86, say, and then here we are at C86, and now I can step some more and I can see the accumulator increment again. Um, you can see that the there are two cursors here. This cursor is the cursor that's been flashed under, under software control by Nasus. It's flashing very quickly because the CPU is running at 50 megahertz instead of 4. This cursor here is being flashed under hardware control and I think I'm going to disable that for the um, NASCOM screen. You can see I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 lines of video, plus the 16th non-scrolling line, the 16th line I can modify. Here we are, top line, and the last character of that is at F9. This setup also supports ATCON on video, um, an emulation or um, re-implementation of the MAP-80 VFC card. So that memory is switchable. I can switch the video stream between the NASCON video and the MAP-80 video like this. It takes a couple of moments for the monitor to resync. The video memory for the MAP screen is full of zeros at the moment. I can type blind to switch back. Again, it takes a couple of moments for the monitor to resync. There are separate memories for the two videos, so neither of them corrupts the other. I can map the VFC memory into the memory map. If I do this, it will appear at 4000, and the 3 means that the, both the ROM and the RAM are 
enabled. So now this is the boot ROM from the VFC card. This is the video RAM. see that I modified the video memory. Now if I switch the video stream, I can see those characters at the top of the line. Switch back to the NASCOM screen. And that's all there is to show for now.